Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Indices Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. Today, we're going to be looking at the China A50. That's a benchmark of stocks in China, which we follow in CMC Markets. And there's an all-important trade balance report that has caused some major turbulence in past months, along with an interesting technical setup that we want to look at now. Now, for those watching the Chinese economy of late, what has really been interesting is the purchasing manager, uh, purchasing manager data, the PMIs. Uh, what had happened at the start of the year was that Chinese, econ uh, Chinese economy was in a bit of a lull, but the service sector managed to do okay. It was um, still expanding, whereas the manufacturing was really falling off a cliff. That has changed around in the last month, whereby now we've seen manufacturing reach one and a half year highs in terms of the PMI data response, whereas services has fallen back to a six month, uh, six month low. Now, that's taken its toll in, um, in the price of the China A50. It's re reached an important technical level, which we're gonna have a look at in the chart. What I think could be, in fact, trigger point to further correction is if we see a miss in the uh, Chinese trade data coming up on Thursday evening, late, uh, early Friday. Now, what could happen there is that this service sector data that we're seeing could feed through to some weakness in, uh, in imports. And so even if the trade balance itself improves, a real big drop in imports would not really be good for the Chinese economy and could be interpreted badly for Chinese stocks. Now, taking a multiple time frame approach to the China A50, we're first gonna have a look at the weekly chart. What I wanna demonstrate here is that prices have obviously had a strong rally. You can see in, part, in the previous three weeks, prices ran right up to 7,450 or thereabouts. But tracking back to the previous high made uh, back in December of 2013, you can see that it's at this, almost exactly this level that um, price broke down through with a large bearish candlestick. And it's no coincidence, uh, no coincidence that the price is, is falling off here because it's at that level that buyers finally give way to sellers in the past and we saw that big decline um, towards the start of 2014. Now what I want to do now is drop down to the four hour chart, a shorter time frame for the China A50. And you can see here that there's been some RSI divergence leading into this area where the price has made some higher highs but the RSI has been making lower highs. And that has resulted in this trend line break and we've now seen a new lower low formed on the China A50, albeit not a daily close. A daily close would what we uh, would need to see uh, to perhaps indicate some, some further declines. Um, so this is setting up to be a bit of a bearish situation, and now we just want to wait and see for this Chinese import data to see if that will be the trigger for a further move lower. Okay, that's it for this week's Indices Snapshot. We were watching the China A50, of course, and keep an eye out for the China trade data, which comes out late on Thursday, early Friday.